My name is Peter Breen. I'm the chair and director and co-founder of Jugglers Art Space, which is where we are today. And we're committed to facilitating the health and growth of the core creative human spirit. Walls and Colours is a program that's been run by Visible Inc, which is a Brisbane City Council department. And their idea was that uh, they would be involved in colouring Brisbane, really, beautifying Brisbane and it was part of the graffiti eradication program. And so they chose Jugglers as the agency that would work with the artists, that would provide the artists, that would work with them to mentor young people. We had design workshops and then the artists would eventually paint the walls and colours at various selected sites. So Milton Road project was one that was selected uh, specifically to be able to reflect some of the history of that part of Brisbane. It was, a, it was a wall that Visible Inc and City Council really wanted to make something of and to actually reflect things like the big fig trees and the old tennis centre and the dance schools and just the locality. And I wanted to select two artists who are more than emerging but mid-career. I've known Russell for a long time and I've known Anthony Lister for a long time. Both of them have been involved with jugglers right from the get-go. Anthony was one of the very first artists who painted with Jugglers back in 1998 and he had a studio here. Russell has been part of our mentoring program for a long time and they've both got international uh, recognition and fame. And I also wanted to raise the standard of the kind of wall art that we're seeing in Brisbane so it was more uh, contemporary rather than just illustrative and I knew that those two guys could do that and I wasn't disappointed. Russell Fenn is Soffles, known as Soffles, and many people know who Soffles is. He is a graffiti artist, a street artist, a canvas artist. Um, Anthony Lister is also a street artist and exhibits around the world in studios, works on canvas, does sculpture works, that kind of thing. So there's some slight difference, but they meet together at the street level in terms of their arts practice. I think this is incredibly important for this kind of thing to be happening in Brisbane. Uh, using aerosol and using artists at this, of this calibre, as well as working with uh, young people who are wanting to become this kind of artist, who are wanting to expand their artistic skills. And the reaction we've had is quite significant from the public. Um, nearly all the artists have said when they're painting they've had all sorts of positive reactions. I don't think we've heard of one negative reaction yet when artists have been painting with the public have come and said positive things about it. Um, Instagram has gone mad, Facebook has gone mad. The council itself has been incredibly positive and so I think there's win-win all around. My personal passion is to see contemporary different art on the walls of Brisbane because Brisbane has a bit to develop in relation to contemporary art and I think if we can begin to raise that kind of standard uh, and get the reaction we're getting that Brisbane will start to find its feet, especially around public art. In the last 10 years it's really beginning to expand and uh, so I'm happy to be a part of this, it's pretty exciting.